Hello little acorns, how are you? I've got one of our favourite stories today and it's even a favourite story of some of the children in Big Acorns so maybe they'd like to have a listen too. But this story, especially today, is for Riley. Hello Rue, how are you? I miss you, I hope you enjoy me reading this story. I'll give you a clue about what it is first. We need to use our busy and strong hands to do one of our signs. So we need our finger, our bossy pointy finger. We lay it on our hand and we creep it along. Hmm. Do you know what our story is? Yes, I can hear some of you say it. This is our sign for caterpillar. And our story today is the very hungry caterpillar. Lots of you dressed up as this on World Book Day and looked fantastic. I'll pop the story lights on. <gasps> there we go. Let's start. We love this. Look at all those little circles and all the dots in the really bright colours. Fantastic. Oh, get a sneak peek of the sunshine there at the start of the book. When the story starts, <gasps> it's not daytime, is it? It's night time. The sky is very dark and the moon is out. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Hmm. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Who is creeping along? Got your caterpillar fingers ready. Hmm. He started to look for some food. This is where we always need our fingers. Here we go. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Mmm, yummy. But he was still hungry. There he is coming out the other side. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears and he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums and he was still hungry. On Thursday, Mmm, my favourite. He ate through four strawberries and he was still hungry. Goodness me, Caterpillar. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. Goodness me. Mm. And out he comes the other side. Now, are you ready for this? Goodness me. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake. One ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one piece of salami. Oh, didn't even stop there, goodness. One lollipop, one slice of cherry pie, one big sausage, one cupcake and one slice of watermelon. Goodness me, he wasn't hungry anymore. Mm. But he had a tummy ache. And I think he felt a bit sick. He'd eaten too much. Mm -hmm. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through just one nice green leaf. And then he felt much better. But guess what? He wasn't a hungry caterpillar or a tiny caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. <gasps> Remember, he built a little house around himself called a cocoon. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. <gasps> and then when he was ready, he nibbled a little hole and pushed his way out. And he was a beautiful butterfly fantastic look at all those colors can you see all the colors from the things he ate in there gorgeous <gasps> born you clover our story's over I can't remember how we make our sign for butterfly 
we do two thumbs up then our thumbs our tommy thumbs give each other a hug and then we put our fingers out and then there's our beautiful butterfly flying off i hope you enjoyed listening to this story hope to see you again soon bye